Something like Mandalorian. Suitable, suitable location. Livery. 
There are three other tribute racks available, each significantly cheaper but no less eye-catching. Regular, unstickered paint colors are also available. But the Dakar is so much more than just a retro throwback to Porsche's rallying heyday. It's based on the Carrera 4 GTS, meaning it gets a 473 brake horsepower 3 litre twin turbo flat 6 at the back, all wheel drive, and an 8 speed PDK gearbox. It'll hit 62 miles per hour from rest in three and a half seconds, onto a limited top speed of 149. That might seem a little low compared with regular 911s, but any faster and the all-terrain tyres would burst. The key to this car's off-road makeover, though, is the new suspension. The Dakar sits 50 millimetres higher than a standard Carrera, raising by a further 30 mil for what Porsche describes as ambitious off-roading. In its highest setting, the top speed is limited to 106, after which it'll squat back down again to its standard height. To help this delicate sports car stay in one piece on the trails, the engineers raided the GT3 heart bin for its dynamic engine mounts, while the rear wheel steering and dynamic chassis control and GT3 bonnet have also been borrowed. Until now, the thought of even a Cayenne, Porsche's most rugged SUV, ever venturing off the beaten track was laughable. But the Dakar really is built to be abused. There are two bespoke driving modes, rally and off-road. The former sets the car up for fast and loose surface driving, sending most of the power to the rear wheels for some grim inducing oversteer. The second mode optimizes ground clearance and traction. There's even a special rally launch control system designed to get you off the line as quickly as possible, even in the slippiest of conditions. To complete the 4x4 makeover, there's an optional roof rack, LED lighting, and even a roof tent. To keep the weight down, much of the bodywork is made from carbon fibre reinforced plastic, meaning it only weighs 10 kilos more than a Carrera 4 GTS, despite its underbody protection, big wheels, and a roll cage. Well, I mean, roll cages. Part of the car. Safety. There's an abundance of Porsche's race text upholstery, while Dakar logos complete the interior alterations. Whether any Dakar buyers dare take their six figure Porsches off road remains to be seen, but with delivery starting this summer, we certainly hope to see one or two getting money sooner rather than later. Join us again next week on Auto Mundial as we kick off the year in style as Volvo heralds a new era of people carriers with the intriguing EM90. Don't miss it. So today, Monday, will be the first one in 2024. Because this was last Monday.